Hello everyone, my name is Mustafiz and you are in MR Production. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a DB enable file for um, removing FRP for Samsung models and uh, for reactiv reactivation lock as well. So um, this tool uh, is a secret tool. I'm gonna give it to you in the description below as well for free download. Don't worry about it okay so uh, if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please go and subscribe my youtube channel for uh, more update okay so this is the tool i already extracted it. i'm gonna give it to you in the description below as well for easy finding and you can download it free so uh, when you uh, basically open the tool first time you need the serial key serial key is here okay just copy it i'm not opening the tool for, for first time so it's not gonna ask me for the you know serial number because it's already registered this is a free tool but it's a working tool okay give me just two seconds it's loading it's loaded already okay so here you can see uh, remove FRP and bypass FRP this is two method for uh, FRP okay so this is for the um, old security removing FRP like uh, today we're gonna work on uh, G935F okay so I'm gonna select the model G935 So here's the model G935F. Okay. So if here it does a something you can do in this uh, tool, like if you try to remove FRP and it uh, says that soft break, like you know when you uh, sometimes uh, try to remove FRP and get stuck in the download mode, saying uh, uh, download interrupt and you need to. Uh, Redownload the whole uh, software and flash it again. You don't need to flash. You just select the model, correct model, and uh, scan the port. Okay, scan the port and just click on this soft pick error fix. Okay, so it will uh, fix the um, soft pick error and it will um, uh, the device will uh, run as normal. Okay. So uh, if you are in old security, security like 6.0.1, 5.1.1, okay, you can just simply uh, go to download mode and connect the phone and just remove FRP. But if you are in uh, 7.0, 8.0, you know, or you are not, so you need to uh, create um, like if uh, calculator mode, uh, method is not working and all that, so you need. Um, ADB enable file. Sometimes it's very hard to find the ADB enable file. So today I'm going to show you the easiest way to make ADB enable file with the uh, firmware. Okay, so you need the firmware of um, the model. Okay, so I have the firmware here. Okay, so uh, I, I already selected the model. So I'm gonna go to FRP bypass. Okay, and then yeah some other thing you can do like call method if that, uh, that one's fail then you have to come here okay and then because as you can see adb enable file maker okay so i'm gonna go to browse and then locate my uh, firmware which is here i'm gonna only locate the ap firmware which is pda or ap whatever you say so I'm going to select the PDA or AP. Okay. So it's ready to make. So I'm going to uh, click on make. So I have to look at the output. Okay. So I'm going to 
write it or type it here here you can type anything so i'm gonna type adb file or okay so just adb enable file and click save so it's creating adb enable firmware as you can see you're gonna take some time give it the time okay Just creating the file so for more update and more latest tool you can uh, always uh, contact me on whatsapp i'm gonna give it to the description below as well and uh, you can subscribe me for more update mm -hmm. it's a very big file so it's gonna take a while to um, Generate the sys said okay. okay. So it's done. There you can see I, I had located the uh, file on desktop. So here is the file adb enable file for G935F. Okay. So what we have to do is put load in. Open it. Select AP and see here is my ADB enable file. Okay, just select it and then connect your phone to download mode and just press start. It will take only like five to ten seconds and then uh, your ADB will be enabled. And then after that, you can reset FRP by coming here and then click on bypass FRP or you can uh, do with jet3x or any other tool so this is a very good tool for latest frp on and all of old frp as well thank you very much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe